Coronavirus The coronavirus first appeared in December 2019 in Wuhan in China. Since then, the coronavirus has spread throughout the world, infecting more than 20 countries, including Britain, Russia and Sweden, amongst many more. This virus has killed 304 people in China. On the 2nd of February, news was released that a man in the Philippines had died from coronavirus. This is the first death outside of China. More and more countries are closing borders to Chinese arrivals. These countries include the US, A and Australia. This goes against WHO advice, who have stated the disadvantages of closing borders. They recommend screening at borders instead. So what exactly is the coronavirus? It is an enveloped RNA virus, characterized by its club-like specks on its surface. This is a new virus which was first identified in December 2019. It was discovered when viral metagenomics was carried out on three broncholeverage specimens from Chinese adults with severe pneumonia. The coronavirus is the seventh member of a family of coronaviruses that affect humans. Four of these viruses, 229E, OC43, NL63 and HKUL, cause common cold symptoms. Two other strands, SARS and Middle East Urn Respiratory Syndrome, are zoonotic in nature. Zoonotic refers to infectious diseases that can spread between animals and humans. It is expected that the new coronavirus is zoonotic too, as the first cases of coronavirus were linked to seafood in Wuhan in China. How does coronavirus affect the body? Well, according to a Lancet study, the most common symptom is fever experienced in 98% of cases, followed by cough and fatigue. Less common symptoms are diarrhea, headache and sputum production. What findings would you see in patients admitted with coronavirus? Well, on their full blood count, 25% will have leukopenia and 63% in this Lancet study had lymphopenia. All patients in the Lancet study had CT chest abnormalities. Particularly common was bilateral ground glass opacity. So how can coronavirus be prevented? It is suspected that the incubation period is 14 days. This is the time between catching the infection and developing symptoms. It is an airborne infection. That means it is carried within the air during normal breathing and talking with an infected person. Scientists say that each infected person passes on an infection between two to three people. This is known as the virus basic reproduction number. To prevent the spread of the infection, those with the infection should be cared for in airborne infection isolation rooms. Correct infection control principles should be adhered to, including hand washing, gloves, aprons and face masks to prevent transmission. We are not sure at what stage a patient with coronavirus becomes infectious to other people. Ebola, for example, will only spread from person to person when symptoms are present. Flu, however, can spread before symptoms occur. So what is the treatment of coronavirus?
Treatment at the moment is supportive. No antivirals have been proven to be effective. Corticosteroids should be avoided unless indicated for other reasons as they run the risk of prolonging viral replication. The main treatment is preventing spread and supportive management of complications that may arise. This concludes my video. Thank you for listening. If you like this video please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more medical education videos.